Let's look at some examples. We'll look at some examples of field extensions, and we'll look at some examples of field automorphisms. So I always like my examples to be as trivial as possible. I kind of want to see certain behavior, but I want the easiest examples that give me that behavior. So I don't want to make things more complicated than necessary. So all the examples I'm going to present in this video will be pretty simple, but I still think they're useful. And as we'll see in a video or two, they actually exhibit a lot of interesting behavior and tell us a lot about how I'll have to develop the theory later on. So even though these examples are pretty easy to understand, they're still important in my opinion. Okay, so let's look at examples of field extensions. So here are two examples of field extensions. First, the rational numbers are a subfield of the real numbers. So what I mean is that r over q, that's a field extension. The rationals are extended by the reals. And let me briefly remark that when we talk about field extensions, when we talk about one field being a subfield of another, people usually don't just use uh, this set inclusion symbol. So we don't use this, we use something else. People instead write this less than or equal to symbol. And this is supposed to tell you not only is Q a subset of R, but Q is actually a subfield of R. Okay, so that was the first example. R over Q is a field extension. And the second example is the real numbers inside of the complex numbers. So that means that C over R is a field extension. Is a field extension. So let me just mention trivially, of course, then, that C over Q is also a field extension. So extension is a transitive property. If one field is inside of another, and that second field is inside of a third, then the first field is inside of the last. Maybe, let all, maybe I'll write that down. So if I have fields k1 over k0 and k2 over k1, then I also have k2 over k0. OK, so those are two, or I guess three, examples of field extensions. Now let's look at field automorphisms. Now let's look at field automorphisms. Automorphism examples. So my examples here are going to be equally trivial. So first example, let's let k be any field. Then the identity map from k to itself is a field automorphism. So the identity is always a field automorphism. OK, that was the first example. That was just about as trivial as you could get. The second example isn't quite so trivial, but we've already talked about it. And that's that the map from C to itself, sigma, where sigma is complex conjugation, where sigma is complex conjugation, is also a field automorphism. Okay, and this was an example from the first video in this series. So we've seen two examples of field extensions, or possibly three, depending upon how you count it. And now we've seen two examples of field automorphisms. So to finish up this video, let me just mention that I recommend that you look at the side remark video in this case.